So if you want to try a couple more examples, <clears throat> remember the big idea with these guys is to count the number of atoms of every single element on both both sides of the arrow. Uh, try one element at a time, unless it's a polyatomic ion. Uh, then you can do groups at a time. Uh, you're just adding coefficients, never changing the subscripts. And when you're all done, count one more time just to make sure you did it right. And then if you have any uh, coefficients that can be reduced, like all of them are doubled or something, and you can reduce them all by half, uh, then try that when you're done. So a couple examples. Uh, first off, uh, with the CH4, go ahead and pick the element that shows up the least amount of times, maybe carbon. So start with carbon and you'll see that you have one carbon on the left and one carbon on the right, so those guys are balanced already. Uh, now let's check your H's. You've got four on the left and two on the right. Uh, to get an equal amount, we'd want to double the hydrogens on the right. Now we've got four hydrogens on both sides. Now you're left with the oxygens, which almost always ends up being the trickiest for some reason. If you look at oxygens, there are two on the left, and then over on the right, oxygen shows up twice. It shows up in carbon dioxide as two O's and in water as two O's. So four O's total on the right side of the arrow. To get four O's total on the left side, we're gonna have to double that O2, um, making it four. Now we've got four O's on the left side as well. If you double check, you'll see one C on both sides, four H's on both sides, and four O's on both sides. We are all set. On to the next one, KClO, KClO3. Go ahead and take a look at your K and your Cl. You'll notice that you have one KCl, one K on both sides, and one Cl on both sides. Now look at your O's, they're a little tricky. There are three O's on the left and two O's on the right. We're gonna have to try to find a way to get your O's to even out. So thinking in math class, kind of like the first common multiple, let's try to get to six. That's something that three and two can both multiply to get to. So on the left, uh, we'll double our O, and on the right, we'll triple our O. So now I've got six O's on each side. But I've messed up my K and my Cl, which is why you always have to double check these. Over on the left, I have two potassiums and two chlorines. So let's fix that, and on the right side, double our K and our Cl. Now we're all set. If we double check, two Ks, both sides check, two Cls, both sides check, and six Os on both sides check. A third one on here, you'll see a polyatomic ion. You'll see phosphate on the left, and you'll see phosphate on the right. Now those don't worry, you can actually treat phosphate uh, as one, excuse me, one compound, one thing, uh, and not have to worry about P and O. So let's start on the left side, let's start with iron. Fe shows up on the left and on the right. On the left there's only one Fe, on the right there are three. So if I triple the Fe on the left, now I've got three Fe's on both sides. Uh, now let's move on to chlorine. On the left, now I have six chlorines, two times three. On the right, only one. So let's add a six to my Na and my Cl. Now my Fe's match and my Cl's match. Keep moving forward. How about my Na's? Over on the left, I have three Na's. On the right, ooh, I actually have six Na's. So to get from three to six, we're gonna have to double. Now the last thing I have to check are my phosphates, my PO4. On, on the left side, I have th two PO4s. Over on the right, I also have two PO4s. So sometimes that doubling can show up as a subscript, sometimes that doubling can show up as a coefficient. Uh, as long as they agree with each other, they can be subscripts and coefficients. So if I double check, I've got three Fe's on both sides, I've got six Cl's on both sides, I've got six Na's on both sides, and two phosphate families on both sides. We are all set. A couple more examples to try. Uh, C2H4, let's start with our C's. I've got two C's on the left and only one C on the right. Let's fix it by doubling up. Uh, H's, four H's on the left, two H's on the right. Let's fix that by doubling up the H's on the right. Now we are left with O's, which so many times ends up being the trickiest. On the left I have two O's. Over on the right, be careful, you actually, actually have four O's. Uh, O2 doubled is four, and then O doubled makes six. So you actually have six O's on the right-hand side, four plus two. 
Let's get six O's over on the left. I've got two. Triplet gets me to six. Double check to make sure you didn't miss anything. Two C's on both sides, check. Four H's on both sides, check. And six O's on both sides, doing great. Uh, next one's a fun one, a little bit tricky. Uh, let's start with aluminum, since uh, that seems to be the least tricky. On the left I have one aluminum, and on the right I have two aluminums. Let's double the one on the left, now they agree. And now here comes your O's, always tricky. On the left I have two O's, on the right I have three. So to get these guys to agree, we're going to have to try to get them to the number six. So on the left, that O2, let's triple it. And on the right, that O3, let's double it. But you'll notice that that has messed up my aluminums. My aluminums over on the right have gone from two to four. So you're going to have to switch that over on the left. Uh, to, you're going to have to go from 2 to 4 on the left. That's why we always double check. So, so to double check again, 4 ALs on the left, 4 ALs on the right, 6 O's on the left, 6 O's on the right. Next one's a tricky one too. Uh, let's start with carbon. On the left you'll see two carbons on the left and one carbon on the right. Fix it by doubling it up. Now let's go to our H's. We'll save our O's for last because they're always the trickiest. 6 H's on the left two H's on the right. So to get from two to six, we're gonna have to triple. So, so far my carbons look good, two and two. My H's look good, six and six. Now I've got O's. Over on the left is O2. Over on the right, sneaky. You've got four O's plus three more, that's seven O's. How do you get from two to seven? Well, I guess you multiply by three and a half. That I get from two to seven. However, you have to have whole numbers as your coefficients. So here's the trick. If you have an uneven uh, number with a decimal, three and a half, your trick is to go across and double every single coefficient. It'll make everything beautiful, I promise. So the first one becomes a two, three and a half becomes a seven, two becomes a four, and the last three becomes a six. If you double everything, now all of a sudden you have a whole number and it still works. So if you check the left, you have four C's on the right, four C's. On the left, 12 H's. On the right, 12 H's. On the left, 14 O's. And on the right, eight plus six, 14 O's. So those are tricky, but just think if you have a half number, like three and a half or two and a half, if, you, if that matches, double all the coefficients and you'll be all set. Last example. Uh, for these balancing ones. Let's start with iron. On the left, I have two irons. On the right, two irons as well. Uh, let's go O's next. Three O's on the left. Now ignore the O's in sulfate because we're going to deal with those O's over here. So normal O's, I have three on the left and one on the right. So let's triple those O's. Now what happened is it messed up my H's. If I look at my H's, over here I've got six, so over here you're going to have to make six. So going from three O's to three O's made me change my H's to six H's. Now I've got six H's here. Last thing to check are my sulfates. On the left I have three sulfates and on the right I have three sulfates. So I'm good to go. Let's double check because our H's work tricky there. On the left two F's, on the right two F's. Check. On the left, three normal O's. On the right, three normal O's. On the left, six H's. On the right, six H's. And then your sulfates, three sulfate families on the left, three sulfate families on the right. 